Good morning. I'm back. I'm Jill with Copycat Crafts by Jill. And this morning I thought I would just share with you what I've been up to, which is my uh, box of curiosities. This is the first time that uh, I decided to do a Halloween anything. I've never done a Halloween journal or nothing for Halloween. I do very little for Christmas. I just find I don't like blocking myself in and then having loads of holiday items. But for some reason, I don't know why, uh, the mood struck and I decided to make a box of curiosities. And probably because I'm not a Halloween-y person, uh, don't get me wrong, I buy and eat the candy, so I have a line, <laughs> but but uh, I guess I was more cleaning uh, out a old cabinet, and I came across this Samsung phone box from a year, a couple years ago when we bought, when my husband and I got new phones. And they are such good boxes that as I was walking to the trash, I took out the insides and thought it's just such a shame to throw away these boxes. And probably it was the color, which they're, they're black, they're solid black. And I thought Halloween, I, I don't know why, but I did. So, uh, I made my box of curiosities and I thought I'd share it with you before I list it and I'm going to uh, mention the papers I used um, I used digitals from uh, Lady Blackblood I used her spooky specimen slide which is the the ones you're looking at here I overprinted everything because I thought I was going to make two of these, but as I was making one, I thought maybe I would make the second box a totally different theme. So um, I'll probably make some smaller folios or something with all the all the extras. But I printed out everything like <laughs> so many times. So Lady Blackblood, her spooky specimen slide digital kit, I used. Of course, Love Junk Journals, which is Tracy Fox, her Halloween Mega Matchbox Minis kit. And love it. Love the boxes. I even uh, made this one and I just changed it up a little bit so that the, the lid opens differently. It's not a slide matchbox, but I, I love that kit. I, I'm going to use that all year long. I used Dream Weaver Realm, her very scary ex and her extremely scary two separate kits. Um, I, they're just scary or yeah, scary oddity pictures that I thought were really cool. And I used, uh, Meadow Fine Journal, Creepy Vintage Toys, which is the one that started the, the whole thing after I found the box. At first, I was going to make it a creepy toy box, and I bought a digital kit with creepy toys. And it kind of bloomed from there, like any nice weed. And I bought, of course, the Victoria Design Haunted House Papers uh, for a lot of the background, which is what's on here. So here it is without any further ado. I will give you a tour. On the very side bottom we have, and on the side top, <laughs> we have the same. And then on this side, and on the side that it opens, it opens from here. And it, it latches just with this 
card piece that slides into a slot on the side. That is the original closure and it works so well. I just kept it. I was going to do something with a closure, but I thought this is hidden and I really, it, it works fine. So, and on the top, um, I decided to just leave uh, a few little pockets. It's kind of my signature. Um, so, but if you decide you don't want them used as a pocket, you can take it out and it's totally fine. So it opens like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this plain. I kind of like it plain, but here's a little like belly band. And inside is, here is some goblin teeth. And this is again, not really pumpkins and scarecrows. It's curiosities and more Halloween-y curiosities. So this is goblin teeth and I'm not going to show some details just because the uh, when I list this whoever buys it uh, I want to have a little bit of a surprise. Here's crease, uh, creature specimen and it just is a little envelope that I made and um, they're little blood slides that I made. So, fake blood slides. Well, that's my secret, so. Here's some pictures of uh, curiosities. I'm not gonna weave through all of them, but you can add to it. So there's that. Here's my little box of, from. this is from Tracy Fox. And it has my little bug collection in there. So, so we have that. Okay, here is my Magwai. Now, if anyone has ever watched the movie Gremlins, Magwais, my, my children were uh, just totally taken with the movie Gremlins. I can't tell you how many times we watched it. And uh, a Magwai is, before they become a... A gremlin they're the cutest little fluffiest thing and once uh, you have a magwai if you should get them wet they turn into a gremlin and this is fur from a magwai which with the warning do not get wet because we don't need any gremlins running around that we don't already have just some little pieces here are some x-ray slides now this was a free digital kit they come in little uh, well you get a whole sheet and uh, that is from whoop that's from the art scavenger <laughs> it's running away from me here that is from the art scavenger I'm trying to be delicate uh, it's free and I do have the Yeah, I do have the paper here. I printed it out. If you, anyone has watched my video where I print on vellum, and I was so excited, I printed pictures of people on vellum. Well, I picture, I printed um, these. Just want to show you, I printed them on white first. So they're what I would consider more like x-ray type type pictures, but it's it's a free printable collage sheet from the Art Scavenger. So you would go to the artscavenger.com. And once I printed them out on that, I thought they would make really great like x-ray slides. So I printed them out on on my printable vellum and cut them up and put a bunch in there so there's x-rays I do have a couple of the 
spooky tags and of course the the doctor who owns the box most likely kept him in there i have a little journaling book to journal in so we have that and then we just have a few oddities of, of cards Oh, that's a that's a bat. Okay, I, mm -hmm. that was a little confused there for a moment. So we have those tucked away in there. Do have a uh, picture frame with some old toys, oddity toys. Here's a another envelope that I well not even an envelope, but then I have the specimen bug type cards that I just put in here. I have, this is uh, from Tracy's box collection. And in here, we have a few little items. Here is an envelope that um, has a key it's a key to the dungeon. So, yep, I, I have the key to the dungeon. I have my eyeball collection. And I put in a little flappy thing. The eye, eyeball collection are just whoop, actual eyes. We, we're collecting eyes. So, I don't know why one would, would do that, but... We have a collection of it, and I would classify that as an oddity. So, oh, my fingers aren't working right today. Just tip that back, put that in there. So, our collection of eyeballs. And then here is our... It is um, hair from a troll. That's right. Um, I'm not sure if it's the under the bridge troll, or what species of troll it is. But it is hair from a troll. So we have that. And and it's in there. And then a couple little uh, rusty things. Okay. Like I said, this is a, a box from, from Tracy's Matchbox kit. This is the size box they print out normally. When I wanted this box, I just put my um, uh, my phone where I pick what size I want to print it is um, the 5x7 and then it prints the whole box on one sheet smaller and that's the size it made at 5x7 at, uh, and this is the size they print out when when you order them. Here is the specimen slide from Lady Blackblood. I found uh, fairy wings, so I had to add that. Had to have that in there. These are uh, the creepy pictures, and we're not gonna. I'm not gonna open that. That's a little. That will be for the person's eyes only. And here is a a note probably a a long breakup note to the doctor that he put in here because he was mad here are the toe tags that i made um and i posted a picture of them if i don't think i did no i did not do these in a video so if anyone's interested in seeing a video of of making these toe tags let me know I really grunged them up because I knew they were going to go in this box. Here is a picture of the doctor's class that he graduated with, or if they graduated. Little palm reading card. And um, I don't know if you can see, but I do have these little bottles in here that do come out. So we'll remove them. I did put in those little 
material holders so that they're not sliding around inside the box. And of course, at first here, we have dragon's blood. So I'm not telling how I got that sample. This is snake venom. So we do have some snake venom. And of course we have tears of an ogre. Um, this one was hard to get. That one was hard to get because it's hard to, to make an ogre cry. Um, but I, I've achieved it. So put it in here. All right. I'm just going to restack some of this stuff. I just, I won't put it all back in it. it takes a little pizzazzing to get it all to fit back in but but that's it that's my array i may shove a few extra items in there i didn't want to take many things out uh because i do want a little bit of a surprise for the forever home that this box will end up in so I just thought I'd share it, maybe hopefully give someone a little inspiration or ideas to use in their own Halloween things. And uh, in return, you give me loads of inspiration, which I will use for all the extra <laughs> papers I printed out. And um, in the meantime, I'm just going to think of what I want to what theme I want to make this into. Um, and I do want to put out a, another video. I'm just not sure if, if you want to see the toe tag or a slightly larger video of maybe a folio or larger envelope thing. You let me know in the comments or I'll do whatever you guys want. So just thought I'd share this. Hope you enjoyed it. And this little guy will be going tonight into my Etsy shop. Um, so thanks for watching and stay creative. Hugs.